How were the planets formed? With Dr. Helen Fraser. How was the Earth made and the other planets? The theory is that from the cloud of dust and gas that made a star, a disk forms. In it, dust clumps together, forming bigger and bigger lumps, and eventually gravity will pull them together into planets. But this will only work if the lumps actually stick together, something that has puzzled astrochemist Helen Frazier. We know how the big things stick together with gravitational forces and how the small things stick together with the attractive forces between them. But the problem is that when we get to this gap between millimetre sizes and kilometre sizes, we actually don't know how the particles stick together at all. Helen tried to recreate the beginnings of a planet by firing centimetre-sized lumps at each other to see if they would stick. But the results were disappointing. What happens is gravity acts on the particles and before they get anywhere near hitting each other, they just disappear out of the field of view of the camera and hit the bottom of our vacuum chamber. So Helen took her team and equipment for a flight 20,000 feet above the Mediterranean in an attempt to get closer to conditions in space. About a third of passengers in the so-called Vomit Comet get ill, but this stomach-churning parabolic flight is the closest Earthlings come to escaping the effects of gravity. You'll hear the pilot say the word injection. injection. He's French, so he says it in a very nice accent. And what happens is you start floating off the ground. And as you start floating off the ground, this is really where you have microgravity. And that only lasts 22 seconds. And what's very important at the end of 22 seconds is the plane has to pull back out of the parabola. And it has to do that at the same angle it went in at, i.e. that 50 degrees upwards becomes 50 degrees straight downwards towards the sea. It might seem quite scary for the pilots who are just looking at the sea, but again, for us inside the aeroplane, what we feel is another 2G force. And we repeat this 31 times during a flight. And generally that takes about four to five hours on an aeroplane with no toilet. We work in a team of three, and each person has a very specific job. So as soon as we hear the injection sound, they have to turn a little particle holder so the particles are aligned and ready for the pistons to fire and push the particles towards each other until they collide. Then another member of the team will actually fire the pistons and you hear the pistons move and there's something like arr, arr. The role of the final person is simply to start and stop an ultra-fast camera which is recording exactly where our particles are moving and what's happening. We try and do this two to three times per parabola. Even under these conditions, the particles don't stick. The next round of experiments will be even more extreme. Basically, we're going to try and get to very low temperatures, minus 200 degrees C, and coat the particles in ice so we can see the effects of ice and low temperature on this sticking process and maybe work out how the baby planets are actually formed. How was it for you? Please comment on and rate this movie. Think you can do better? Then try to explain it yourself.